All right, guys, we're back today. We're going to do a break, and it's going to be the 2020 Prism Draft Picks Basketball. we got two mega boxes here that I figured, why not break them here on the channel? Uh, we'll take a look at the product, see how it is. Uh, see if we can't get a couple, a uh, little bit of these Anthony Edwards, a little bit of LaMelo Ball action, see what we got. This is fun because... And we're just going to get right into this, guys. Uh, this is fun because, I mean, you're only going to be getting rookies. Um, the thing about it is it's not... They don't really retain a ton of value, but it can be a lot of fun, though, since you can actually end up pulling a ton of, ton of good rookies because that's all you're pulling is rookies. There is still potential here. You, you get some uh, pink prisms. We've got a pink prism bonus pack. And uh, we do have, uh, you know, yeah, there's some good potential here. Maybe we get some silvers of uh, old Anthony Edwards. Maybe some James Wiseman, Lamelo Ball. I, I, you know, I know it's not the strongest draft class. Definitely is not. But hey, and there we go. So we'll start it off now. Uh, that little indentation there doesn't have much promise. You see that? Right there, yeah. That's okay. Um, all right, some Jemias Ramsey. Kyra Lewis, he's a lottery pick, actually. Um, I think he could be good, too. We'll see. Uh, all right, Casillas Stanley. I don't, I don't, there's a lot of these guys I'm not real familiar with. Um, this was not a huge draft class that I, I did a lot of research on. I know that there is some intriguing guys. I do like that. I like Denny Avicha. Or how do you say uh, Denny Av Avdija? Something like that. Uh, international guy from Greece. He, he looks like he could be a potential. He's got some potential for sure. 6'9". Devin Dotson. Yeah, and these are not the best hits so far. RJ Hampton. I think he's got some potential too. Even though he's kind of slid. Um, but yeah, like Denny Avdija, 6'9", can handle the ball, pass the ball, be like a secondary playmaker type of guy, can shoot. I think one of his uh, things is whether or not he can shoot is going to kind of make or break his potential. Uh, Theo Maladin here. Okay, Obi Toppin, another guy that I think has got some intrigue and some upside. Uh, definitely. A lot of athleticism with that tweener forward, 3-4 kind of guy. And with the way basketball is going now, with the positionless basketball, where like bigs are, you know, it's all small ball kind of. And I, I think Obi Tobin has some potential. And he got drafted by the Knicks. So let's see. Uh, okay, James Wiseman, a little crusade action there. Okay, RJ Hampton on the pink eyes. I like that. Not bad. Tyrese Halliburton kind of fell a little bit. I think he was like the 11th or 12th pick. Yeah, so nothing big so far. As far as like hobby intrigue, I, I think uh, Lamelo for sure. I'm not, I haven't really paid attention to the market. Uh, I haven't looked. But I'm assuming it's going to be Anthony Edwards and LaMelo, the top two, with uh, James Wiseman right behind that. Um, and this on Onyeka Onkongwu, he was like the sixth pick or something, I think. I think the Hawks picked him. And then Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes looked like he's got some promise as a... Interesting point guard prospect for Detroit. I think he was the seventh pick or eighth pick. Mm. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this, uh, yeah, that bonus pack is actually a guaranteed auto, a pink ice auto. So that there's some potential there. Okay. Um, okay. Precious Achiwua. Precious is his name. Okay. 
and then Obi Toppin on the Crusade. So we're just kind of flying through this, seeing what we got. We're looking for... I'm looking for stuff that's gradable, too. Some Edwards or LaMelo Ball, essentially. I wonder if there's some numbered... I'm sure there's some numbered parallels that are possible. I don't really know which ones, but I'm sure they're out there. Tyrese Maxey's got some intrigue to me. Uh, I'm going to put him here just to highlight him for a second. And, yeah, we got Jason Tatum on the right and um, got Giannis on the left. Two of my latest pickups and trades. Yeah, trades were how I got the, each of these. A uh, little diversification, again, on how I got them. I was really happy with that Tatum. It was actually raw. I, and I didn't, I actually made, I didn't make a video of that. But, I, yeah, I got that back as a gem. That was r really nice. And uh, that Giannis was a cool trade that I made with a, uh, the guy on a forum. Uh, yeah, nothing big here so far. Hampton Base. Yeah, I don't, I'm just kind of throwing stuff around. I don't really have much order. Uh, yeah, we'll go through it later. But <clears throat> Tyrese Maxey, you know, Kentucky guard, wasn't, I think he was uh, in the 20s or something. I think the Sixers picked him, actually. Uh, but any guy can, from Kentucky, I, I got my eye on. Oh, cool. A James Wiseman, global prospect. Cracked ice, uh, cracked pink ice. That's a cool card. I don't care the value. It's a cool card, but still, if these guys, if any of these guys become a star, like the wise men, you know, the top three guys have the obviously have the most potential. If any of them become a star, you know, they're it's it's not bad to have their these cards. Obviously, okay, there we go. We got an Edwards base now. That's I'll take that. Uh, and we got some okay, and then we got Tyrese Maxey, cracked ice, cracked pink ice. Maxey again, cool. And you know, I'm not <laughs> some of these guys I'm not even mentioning because honestly, they're not really worth mentioning. Um, no offense or anything, but some of these guys I'm not even sure who they are. And I follow basketball, but uh, I mean, I don't. I'm not going to be following Jamias Ramsey out of Texas Tech. I mean, I don't. I just don't know, right? No offense again. <laughs> All right. So what else we got? We got two more regular packs, and then we we'll, we'll take a look at our our autograph. Uh, all right. Cole Anthony. He does have some intrigue. Uh, Sadiq Bay. Oh, there you go. That's, there's some Denny Ab Abdiha. It's a nice card. And then we do have one more Mega. So I figured I would crack two of these Megas here that I picked up from the store. Another Anthony Edwards. The other, the other base. That's cool. Tyrese Halliburton, pink. Hey, there you go. A little mellow ball, pink. On the Crusade. I like the Crusades, by the way. I like that. Nice card. Robert Woodard. Robert Woodard. The second. And old Vernon Carey. Son of Miami University. And Miami Dolphins left tackle. Vernon Carey. Senior. Yes. that's what I, I think that's what it was. Okay. So not too bad of a first box there. Uh, so far, we'll see what we got. I mean, these, this has potential, obviously. Definitely has potential. I don't want to look. I don't want to mess up the card. Let's just peel it. Ooh. Points. I don't know if I'm happy about that. Maybe I am. I don't know. 150 points. I don't know if that's a ton, ton of value, but... Okay. Probably better than some random second rounder that we've never heard of. But um, okay, well, hopefully there's a an actual guy here in our second box. 
Uh, we'll see. We will see. All right. And we'll save that for last. Okay. Second box. Okay, we got Wiseman Base to start us off. Jalen Smith. I think he was the 10th pick by the Suns. Killian Hayes on the Crusade Pink. And then Onyeka on Kwangu again. And RJ Hampton on the base as well. Okay. Let's see what else we can pick up here. There you go. Anthony Edwards Crusade. Devin Vassell. Trey Jones. Brother of Tyus Jones. And Marcus Howard. Who is, yeah, like who's he, right? Then Nico Mannion, who had some, he had some, a little bit of buzz. I think he dropped in the draft, though. Don't even know where he got drafted. There you go. This is some Lamelo base. Marcus Howard, Tyler Bay, another Enyeka. I feel like I've gotten a lot of Onyeka. And then Tyrese Maxey. Kobe Toppin again. Okay. Aaron Nesmith. Killian Hayes. Global Prospect. Okay. We'll keep on going. I think Edwards has he has some pretty good upside. He he does have the potential to be a star. If he puts it all together, um he does have the potential to be a star. We'll see though. Oh, there you go, man. Silver LaMelo Ball. You only get like two silver. You get two silver. <laughs> you only get two silvers per box. So that's nice, man. Nice hit. I think Lamelo probably has. I'm just guessing though. He probably has the most hobby value right now. That's just my guess. I mean, it's probably tie like pretty even between him and Edwards. That's a nice card, man. And he will be our. Display. That's a good card, man. I'll take that. And let's see what we got here. I like his game. I like Lamelo's game. I think he he definitely has more potential than Lonzo, even though he was the third pick and he didn't go number one. Like a lot of people, I, I myself included, I kind of thought he was going to end up being number one. Uh, Patrick Williams, the fourth overall pick, kind of came out of nowhere. I don't know enough about him. Uh, I think he's got like that kind of 3 and D tweener forward kind of. That's the kind of player he is, 6'8", six, 6'9", six, probably. Um, I'm assuming he'd probably shoot or else you ain't going fourth overall with that kind of a with that kind of a game. So, but again, like that he kind of came out of nowhere as a fourth pick. Didn't he have Deha again? Um. Yeah, yeah, but like I was saying, Lamelo definitely, definitely has potential to also be a star. Again, like a lot of these youngsters, the they they don't really come in with the best defensive prowess. But uh, I think, you know, if they want it, if they want to be a star, they can be a star. They have all the tools, you know, to do it. Hey, there you go. And Edwards Pink Ice. That's nice. 
I tell you what, man. We're not doing too bad for a couple megas here. Um, you, you know, I'm I'm really looking for Edwards and Lamelo. No, you know, no brainer, of course. Okay, let's continue here. All right, Devin Vassell, I believe he was a pretty high pick. Cole Anthony on the pink. Tyrese Maxey on the pink. And a little ball crusade. If these guys even approach at all what last, you know, what Zion or Jaw did, I'm not saying they will. But if they kind of approach that, you know, these they're gonna, you know, this year's class is gonna be. You know, this year this year's cards are gonna be better than we think. Uh, I'm not saying that's a guarantee, of course, but the potential's there. Josh Green. Is this like an auto coming up or something? No. Uh, Denny of Deha, Global Prospect. Oh, another Anthony Edwards pink. Nice. Um, yeah, I'll take that as well, man. And me, I'm a grading fiend, so... Any of these these, these uh, top guys, the Edwards, the Balls, any decent cards, I might, you know, I might be sending those in. We'll see. Might see that on a future PSA submission reveal video. We'll see, man. Daniel Oturo, RJ Hampton Pink. And there's our other silver. So it looks like those are the money cards. With these megas, you're only going to get two silvers per box, uh, per the box labeling, and then a couple guys. Uh, so that's cool. Put that there. All right, so we got two packs. We got our last pack, and then we'll have our. Hopefully, we have an auto, and not another redemption. Or well, I don't know. Maybe there will be a redemption for. I don't know. We'll see. I just don't want points. Let's at least see an auto. Even if it's a scrub, I don't care. Josh Green, Isaiah Stewart, and Obi Toppin. All right, so we've got one more card here to go. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can open it without revealing to myself or you guys. Okay, all right. Feels like an actual card. All right, let's just do it, man. Here we go. Now, yeah, see, Peyton Pritchard. Peyton Pritchard. Cool, man. I wonder if he got drafted. I don't know. All right, so we're rooting for Peyton Pritchard now on the channel, guys. Um, hey, uh, that's it. That is it. So it looks like we got uh, our highlights. Definitely would be the Lamelo Silver. Uh, we got a couple of Anthony Edwards pinks. And then we got some Anthony Edwards base. And a few other pinks here. Denny of Deha, Lamelo, and then James Wiseman. So that was pretty fun. But you know that these breaks are fun. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow uh, as we are slowly but surely kind of picking up a little steam here. So I appreciate all the feedback and all the all the comments that have come out on some of the videos. Hey, leave a comment too if you liked what you saw. What was your favorite card? Let me know. And I appreciate it again. We'll see you later. Hi, Great Pat. Out. <laughs>